Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Marketplace video series. Today's video is all about how do we troubleshoot the 403 error message. First of all, a 403 error message clearly states that you are trying to access a resource that you do not have permissions to. And this could be happening because of various different reasons that we are going to talk about and how do we troubleshoot them. Let's try going to the marketplace. We go to marketplace.cloud.vmware.com, that's our URL. And let's say if you're a new user or an existing user of VMware who's trying to log in, I'm gonna put my email address here. I'm gonna put my password. And here you go, you see a 403 no access. Clearly says that you don't have access to the application, which makes sense and it's asking us to head to the VMware Cloud Services console that will help us request access to the service. So when I click on that link, it redirects me to the VMware Cloud console. Now this Cloud console is a place where you can see a bunch of different applications that you could request to, or if you are the owner of an organization, enable those services. And we clearly see here that we do not have any invitations here. We do not see any active tiles. And that is the reason why 403 is happening when somebody, including yourself, is trying to access the marketplace. If we scroll down, you will see an option, VMware Marketplace. This is where you will have to request access. And when you click request access, the owner of the organization is the one who will give you or grant access for you to to, act, to use VMware Marketplace. Let's say I clicked on Request Access. It goes and says the product availability is limited to invitation only. So somebody within the Marketplace has to go and give you access to it. If you are a net new user, you simply sign up by directly going to Marketplace cloud.vmware.com and you can do a clear sign up here. Once you do the sign up, you fill in your details of the company, your email address that you would want to associate to, and then you can add any information. Let's say VMware test in company, Arjun, I agree. And I can create an organization and complete the sign up now. So what this is telling me is that when you were trying to initially log into the marketplace, since you did not have that service or an organization associated, you were not able to access the marketplace. Now, when we are trying to do the sign up from the VMware marketplace, it is taking us to a page where it wants us to create an organization. So we become part of the cloud services and then we complete the sign up. So at this point of time, you will see when I was getting a 403 initially, and after I went to the VMware marketplace and completed the signup, I am associated with an organization and I have access to my marketplace. So this is one typical scenario for why you get a 403. In a lot of cases, if you will look here, I could go back to my cloud services console. And if there are more people in your organization that are having trouble with accessing the marketplace and getting the same 403 message. You will need to go to your identity and access management. You will need to go to the active users. And here is where you will start adding all of your users. Like this, you will add more and more users and then you assign service of VMware marketplace and hit add. Once you hit add, an invitation will be sent out to, let's say here, joe at joe.com. And once they accept your invitation, they will have access to the marketplace. So this is a very simple way of troubleshooting the 403 message where you have to redirect to the VMware Cloud Console, request access to the service, or if you're the first time user, go to the VMware Marketplace, sign up, define an organization name, and then create your marketplace access. And also, if you have additional users, you can give them access directly by coming to this active users tab.